now the next thing I'd like you guys to do is just write down the properties. Okay. So we have logarithms and natural logarithms. All right, and we'll go a little bit more into uh, where E is going to come from and how we're going to use it. But anyways, let's go and talk about some properties. All right, so if I was giving you a logarithm, and let's say I have log. Um, da, da, da. Anyways, let's see this. Log base B of x. That's what we talked about, logarithm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, natural logarithm, all a natural logarithm is you have E, which is not a variable, but it's a constant. All right? E represents a constant, not a variable. And we'll talk more about that when we go back to that comp when we talked about continuous interest. So rather than writing it as log, when we say natural logarithms, all right, when we're talking about natural logarithms, E is always going to be the base. All right? So when we have different bases, we'll use logs. But when we have E as the base, we're going to represent it as ln. And we don't need to write the base because we know when I write ln, that base is E. All right? So anyway, so we have logarithm. Let's go over some properties. Uh, log of um, base, base B is going to equal 1 equals. We have log base B of B equals log base B, base B of B to the x equals. And log base B of x equals log base B of y. So you're going to want to write those down. And then let's determine the ln. So ln of 1 equals ln of uh, b or ln of e equals ln of e raised to the x equals. And ln of x equals ln of y. All right, so these are your famous log, uh, logarithm properties that you guys are going to want to make sure you have written down. And also, we're going to be applying these a lot. All right, so to best understand these logarithm properties, what we can do is convert them each to exponential form. Now, right now, I say log base b of 1 equals something. We don't know what that is. So if we don't know what something is, we can always represent it with what? A starts with a v, a variable. So what variable do you want to choose? Because we're just going to make one up. x. Okay. So if I set that equal to x, now I have a logarithmic equation, right? All logarithmic equations I can rewrite in exponential form. So therefore, b to the x equals 1. So do we know what x is? If I say a variable or a number raised to a power equals 1, what does that number have to be? The x. 0, because anything raised to 0 is equal to 1. Right? B has to be 0. I'm sorry, your x, your variable, has to be 0. Now let's go to the next one. If I, again, let's just use x again. So now I rewrite this in logarithmic form. b raised to the x equals b. What is the only exponent that you guys know of that when you take a, a number, raise it to a power, you get that exact same number back? 1. So therefore, the answer is not x, but now our answer is 1. Right? Okay. Now, let's go and take a look at this one. Let's set this one equal to x. Convert this. I have b raised to the x equals b raised to the x. Now, remember, this represents a variable. So what does this variable? Let me use a, maybe a different example. Let's use c. So what do I have to, what do I have to raise b to to make sure it's the same as this variable? Kind of looks a little confusing. What do I have to raise this one to be a power of? x. It has to be x, right? If this is b to the x, then that has to be b to the x, right? So therefore, c equals x. All right. A lot of times, so just to let you guys know, if I have log base b of b to the x, it just equals the exponent. The two bases are, gonna, are going to eliminate. All right. A lot of times what we do is we just eliminate those two b's. And then my favorite one, kind of going off of this, let's do an example. 2 to the fourth equals 2 to the fourth, right? Everybody understands those are exactly true. Oh, I'm sorry, let's do this. 
2 to the fourth equals 2 to the x. So therefore, if I said what is x, you know that just x equals 4, right? Because when you have the bases are exactly the same, it doesn't really matter exactly what the bases are. You know the exponents are going to be true. That's the exact same thing with logarithms. If I have log base b of x equals log base b of y, we know that the bases are just going to undo each other. So we have x just equals y. All right. So now, ladies and gentlemen, with, log with natural logarithms, what we want to do now is just look at these bases, Justin, and determine, well, the only difference, ladies and gentlemen, is now that these have a base e. It's the exact same problem, exact same types of problems, but now they just have a base e. So my answers are going to be the same. OK? ln stands for natural logarithm. If I have log base b of x, we write it as ln base b of x. But we don't write the e because ln is always going to be base e. All right, and I'll talk more about e in a second. But does everybody have an understanding of this? Yes? Sure. Any other questions on that so far?